Okay, uh, good morning everyone, um, or good afternoon or evening, uh, depending on wherever you may happen to be uh, watching this um, around the world. Uh, my name's Andrew, I'm the uh, Colonel Miniconf convener, um, coming to you live from the city where you should have been, uh, Canberra, here in uh, Ngunnawal and uh, Ngambri country um, in the Australian Capital Territory. Um, and yes, thank you for turning up uh, to uh, LCA online um, and thank you for coming to the Colonel Miniconf. Um, this is normally where I'd show you a schedule, um, but you've all got a browser open. Uh, so if you want to see the schedule, um, just head to the uh, linux.conf.au website and check out the schedule there. Um, and uh, yes, we'll, um, with regards to questions and answers, um, we're going to have uh, just depending throughout the day, uh, depending on the uh, speaker, um, we're going to have uh, some different approaches to how we take uh, questions and answers. Um, so uh, for the first talk, um, we're going to be taking Q&A. Uh, we're going to have a live Q&A session uh, after the talk. Um, so the best way to ask your questions is to join the chat in, um, in uh, Venulus, uh, which you should be able to see just on the side of the, um, of the video stream. Uh, if you join the chat and when you've got a question to ask, um, at the end, um, please keep your questions to the end to the Q&A uh, section and just prefix your questions with a big all caps question um, so that we uh, can see it and that we're able to pass it on um, to the speaker. Um, just the other thing to note, uh, you'll also see in Venulus uh, in the, um, uh, if you look at the browser channels list um, on the left hand side, you'll be able to join uh, the Kernel Miniconf BOF channel. Um, that's where we're, we're going to be able to keep the discussion going in text form um, just during break times or uh, after the talks are over. Um, and also, if you want to keep talking with a speaker after their talk is over, just head on over there um, and we'll be able to uh, um, keep the discussion going uh, without uh, distracting the next uh, talk. Um, so please try and keep your chat in the Tux Theatre chat uh, relevant to the um, talk that's currently going and use the Colonel Miniconf BOF channel um, for any discussion happening after that. Um, so uh, we've got our first talk coming up. Uh, Andre Almeida uh, is a kernel developer and associate software engineer at open source consultancy Collabora, where he's currently hacking on core kernel subsystems like Futex and storage. Um, and he's uh, going to be presenting to us today from uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil um, on Futex 2, an update. Uh, please welcome Andre. Hello there, my name is André Almeida and I am a kernel developer at the Open Source Consultants Collaborator. I'm here today to talk about the new Futex 2 and give some news. So uh, before I go on, uh, I will give a brief overview of what is Futex and why we are creating a new interface for it. So Futex is for fast user Mutex, is a system call. Uh, that we provide for the user space to create fast user um, sync mechanisms. So, for instance, this is what Pthread uses for implementing the mutex. And the kernel provides a very um, basic set of uh, semantics. So, it just provides a way to sleep and wake threads. And all the logic, if we, um, all the logic, for instance, if you're going to be a semaphore, if you're going to be a condition variable, needs to be implemented on the user side. Uh, it was created uh, almost 20 years ago, and for almost 10 years we didn't uh, get any new feature. And as you can imagine, um, a lot of um, a lot of things changing, and more than workloads requires new uh, functionalities. Uh, but uh, we got a lot of attempted features uh, that wasn't uh, were not merged. And they were not measured because the code, the current code is on uh, maintenance mode. So that means that no new features or um, any redesign will happen. Uh, the code only gets fixes. And we are on this mode because um, the code has a lot of legacy features. The code is fragile, it's hard to test, 
and it's hard to track for regressions. So, um, and, all, and since it's a very key component of the system, is what guarantees that uh, a lot of mutexes are doing what they are supposed to do. Um, if we break the current full text, a lot of things will break. And some of the limitations is that there is no num awareness, so that means that the kernel side information about the full text, the, um, or the hash table, is uh, stored on the single uh, node. Also, um, we can, there is the hard requirement that the user space full text, um, the, the, var the integer variable needs to be third to be sized. So, but for implement, for instance, for implementing a mutex, you can only you only need three uh, different values. So it could be eight bits, and being eight bits will probably benefit some uh, embedded systems. And also, we can you can only wait on a single full text per time. I'll get on more details about this limitation in, in some minutes. So. Um, and why do we need full text too? And so that's why we we have all those limitations. We have features that we want to implement, and and to solve that, we're going to start from start new, start a new interface with all these things created by design since the beginning. So we are here trying to fix those limitations and adding these new functionalities. And also, the current implementation is doing by a single syscall, so all the operations go the same syscall, you need to change the op op flag to say what you want to do. And uh, on the new interface, there will be no more multiplexing, we have uh, one syscall per operation. And also the code is mostly written from scratch, but of course based on a lot of uh, designs from the original text. So um, the current status is that we have the basic weight and weight semantics um, completed, and also the vectorized weight, uh, that is the the behavior to weight on multiple full texts. We have the timeout, and we have shared full texts that are um, used um, when you have um, shared memory um, between processes. Also, um, we also ported the self tests and the perf tests, so we can start building um, a basic CI around full text queue and compare the performance between the, the, the both implementations. Um, also, um, we ported the Proton version of Wine to use full text queue. And so this is important because um, for the full text weight multiple. So um, this this behavior of the single waiter can wait on multiple full texts. And it was first developed for the current full text implementation. And when I was trying to merge it, uh, the maintainers explained that we could not merge that, we should go for a new interface. So here we are. So, um, and why this is important by, for Proton? Because on Windows, there is uh, this function on the Windows API called wait for multiple objects. And uh, this function is used a lot for um, game engines. And uh, since Proton is a compatibility layer to allow uh, Windows games to run on Linux, um, we need to map those functions. And the best way we found to map this behavior is by adding it on the full text implementation. So uh, we try on the full text, the current full text, we didn't um, manage to do it, do it, so we are developing it on the full text too. And so this work of full text is sponsored by Valve to get uh, Windows games running faster, as fast as possible on Linux. And here we have the results, the current results that we have um, uh, of our interface. Of course, since the design can change, those numbers can change as well. So using the same perf test for Futex 1 and Futex 2, um, I was able to, to get those numbers. Um, for the first test is the hash operations. So here we are trying to see how many hash operations you can we can do per second on the full text, and we can on the full text queue side we got um, almost three percent more operations per second. The wake call test uh, is basically a test where uh, we put a lot of threads to sleep and we start waking them, and so we measure the time to wake off them, 
And so the sooner the test completes, the better. And we got um, an average of less uh, 5% time to complete on comparing full text 2 with full text 1, the, the current full text. The weak parallel is very similar, but here uh, we issue a lot of uh, parallel weak counts. And here uh, the full text 2 uh, took um, almost 13% thir uh, less time to 13% uh, percent less time to complete compared to the current full text. And also, uh, using the uh, our modified proto, we could see uh, and run in the same game benchmark and then using perf record to capture the kernel events, the kernel cycles, and I, I was able to measure, to measure that uh, the kernel was spending 3% less time on full text when you compare the full text tool with the full text one. Um, this didn't uh, translate on 3% more frames per second, uh, but we probably help the game stability somehow. More research is needed on that, on how this impacts the game. And also, uh, porting the, the Proton was very good for testing the stability of our interface. Since uh, those modern AAA games, they really um, stress um, your operational operation system. And for instance, uh, Tomb Raider can call something like 42k full text to system calls per second. And since the game did not crash, the kernel did not crash, uh, we can uh, see that um, the infrastructure is reliable and it can, can accept a lot of stress. So, and for the next steps, uh, we are going to implement the remaining features. So um, we need to implement the normal awareness, we need to implement the variable size um, feature, and also the recue operation. Uh, we also want to implement more testing. And about the upstreaming, the upstreaming of this interface will happen on the real-time Linux tree. So if you want to uh, be updated about uh, the submission, make sure to subscribe to it. So that's it for the full text issue. Um, I'm glad to be here. And if you have any questions, just ping me. Thank you very much. Bye bye. So we've got time for one question um, live. So if you've got a question, please post it in the chat. Um, and uh, otherwise, go to the uh, kernel miniconf. Um, hi, Nick. Um, Nick asked uh, what games I use for my testing. I try to use heavily AAA games like Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, and um, I believe Metro as well. So uh, I try to get uh, those really heavy uh, games. Um, for RT, because on the Plumbers Conference, um, everyone agreed that it would be a better place for this kind of experimental feature that we are going on, um, since uh, it can take a little bit of time to stabilize and we want to have a lot of testing. Um, there is no full text to upstreaming on the kernel right now, just the current uh, full text implementation. Okay, we're going to have to uh, leave it there. Um, thank you, Andre, for your talk, and please stick around in the um, Kernel Miniconf Boff channel if you've got further questions and want to talk further. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.